This is the 10P battery block. It holds 10 18650 cells in parallel. You can use either new cells. This plate slides in and out. So you sort of got to hold it in place with your fingers on the ends. And then you can put a cell in. Now it's locked in place. The magnet holds everything in. And we can put cells in here, putting the negative side down towards the black. That's the traditional orientation. Black is negative. And these not only battery blocks not only accept new cells, but you can also use cells that you've salvaged. The tabs here are still intact. You don't have to take them off. You can put them right in battery blocks uh, with the tabs attached. That makes your job a lot easier. Alright, there they go. They're in there. They stay in there. The magnets hold them in. It's, you know, pretty sweet. And the top goes on like that. I take a look and I see hmm, the holes aren't quite lined up right. A little bit too far this way. So we'll just slide it over a little bit. Like that. That looks great. Oh, I got some tape on this. That looks great. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put the nylon bolts in. All the battery blocks come with uh, ring terminals. So this is a power ring terminal. It's for uh, 10 to 12 gauge wire. Put one of these in here. And they also come with uh, sensor terminals. These hold the little um, 14, 16 gauge wire for the BMS, for the cell logger, for the hobby charger. Okay, there's our nylon bolts. You wouldn't mix cells like this normally, I'm just making a point. Okay, let's go ahead and put the little nylon washers on the bottom. And finally, the nuts. The easiest way to get these fiddly little nuts on is just press them flat and sort of hold them with your finger and then go ahead and turn the head of the bolt. And that way they get threaded on there straight. <clears throat> All right, we'll tighten these up. You know, I feel this starting to heat up. This plate is starting to heat up. And the reason is, is because these QB batteries are good batteries and these are dead. So it's easy to, to sense when things are wrong. So I'm taking this apart right now because these QB batteries are essentially shorted out. So if you do make a mistake like I just made, kind of a dumb thing to do, not a big deal. Problem solved. So let's pull these guys out. And let's put in the good QB batteries like this. Well, I think I made my point, right? I don't know what it was, but made some kind of point. Like, don't do what I do sort of point. Oh, and look, you see I got one in upside down. I'd have the same problem. I start feeling everything heating up, and I go, whoop, I've done something really wrong. So. Let's put this right. Okay, now we'll put the top back on. And there we go. They're held together nicely. Okay, let's put the um, nylon bolts in. Yeah, I know, you're all chuckling, going, man, what a stupid goof. Yeah, I agree. Okay, put the washers on. And we're going to go ahead and push up. Just hold it there and tighten the bolt. Push up. Hold it flat, tighten the bolt. Hold it flat, tighten the bolt. And hold it flat, tighten the bolt. Go ahead and tighten these up. Oops. 
I got two nuts on here, don't I? And there we go. Now everything's cool. It's not heating up. I know I've got this together right. Let's go put some current through this and see what it'll do. Here's the battery box 10 pack. And we've got the QB cells in it. Let's hook this up and see how it does. Should run a little bit cooler than the others. It's got more capacity. All right, she's hooked up now. And the Tenergy shows that it's burning 50 amps, 126, 125 watts. Not too bad for a 10 pack of inexpensive cells. Let's uh, check the temperatures. And there's the resistors. Let's check the temperatures. It's just 92 degrees. The cells themselves are 95 degrees, so they'll be heating up the battery block. And the resistors are 285 degrees. So it's working quite well. The battery blocks are easily able to handle this. This is not even breaking a sweat here. 93 for the top of the plate, 97 for the batteries, the cells themselves. These are pretty good cells.